Podine 52 here with you folks. Lately I've been watching some videos and vlogs of people that are talking about how bad the service department at their motorcycle dealership is. And that's for folks that take their bike in to get it repaired. I want to talk to you about what I think about service and about is that going to impact the type of bike I buy. Stay tuned. Howdy folks, hope you are well. Beautiful day here in Pennsylvania. The sun is out. And uh, I'm on the motorcycle, so everything is good here. Hope things are going well with you for family, friends, and you're out on the motorcycle as much as possible. So, you know, I, lately I've been watching and hearing about a lot of service issues and specifically to Harley Davidson. And that is that is probably because you know I follow some Harley Davidson sites and there's more Harley Davidsons than other motorcycles. And to me it uh, we've vlogged and talked about this, it doesn't matter. We're all brothers and sisters riding on two wheels or three wheels. So it really doesn't matter to me, but really hearing about some poor um, service. Um, Brew City Rider, BCR up in Milwaukee, did a, a vlog on this a week, a good week ago, I think. And um, he talked about it. I know that he mentioned a couple folks that uh, were having problems as well. And by the way, I'm going to leave a link in the description to that video because I, uh, one, he's a fantastic vlogger and good guy. The, he has the best beard in the world, and uh, I think his video was fantastic. So, um, you know, he, he talked about on that how there's been some problems with some of the, the bikes coming out. Um, and I don't know if that's the same with other manufacturers or not, because I've really just been a Harley guy. Um, I know that uh, uh, Harley Day Rider HDR has been having... Uh, problems with his bike that hopefully is uh, is fixed real soon. I know he loves the motorcycle, just having some problems with with Harley, and it made me think really about service. So, my take is this: first of all, a, a little bit of quick background. I am in the HVAC business, but really in the service business. You know, we we service large commercial facilities, contractors, we service people, businesses, right? So our products are important. They're critical. They got to be better than everybody else's at the end of the day if we want to dominate. And so does our service. So growing up mostly on the service side of our business, there are going to be problems. They are going to be problems with equipment. There's going to be a problem with a technician doing something uh, that maybe he or she just made a mistake on. And it's, go it's going to happen. There are problems, and there's going to be problems on motorcycles, new and obviously used. There's, there's challenges with those as well. And to me, service isn't about just the product or just the Harley Davidson bike. Now that's important because people aren't going to buy Harleys if they continue to hear about problems. But I will tell you to me, service is about how you fix a problem and how you treat people when something goes wrong. Because something's going to go wrong. There's no doubt about that. Let's talk about Harley Day Rider for a minute, and I'll also link his channel. Um, great moto vlogger, also a, a, a great friend of mine, so check his channel out. He's been having multiple problems, right? By the way, one of my favorite places to eat with the Mrs. Log Cabin Inn. Um, and 
he's basically taken it to a couple different dealerships and uh, tried to get some problems fixed. And I'll let you look at that video. And and uh, he's been stonewalled a little bit. Or people think they fixed them, they really didn't. And in a one dealership, as a matter of fact, that he bought three bikes from, and I bought this bike from, which really spent more time trying to talk him into trading it in. It's an 18, I believe, 17 or 18. It's a brand. It's an 18. It's a brand new bike, right? So it's a 2018 for sure. And it ticked him off. Ticked me off too, right? Or maybe you say, you know, if, if you really care about a person and the bike you go oh my god i would be mad if i were you too let me dig into this thing and fix it let me call harley right so he's finally at a dealership that's that's working on that so he's going to get it back but i think my point is i think there's always going to be some problems with bikes so i have really two or three dealerships that i go to the one i just mentioned which is where i bought my bike they have events i like the people there they're friendly and then there's Newcastle Harley that is the closest to my house, um, has less of a selection, but I have gotten my 1,000 mile service done there, and I have bought parts there. And I will tell you that the service department and the parts counter guys have been fantastic. So... I, I guess my point in all of this is find that place that really takes care of you. And remember, these dealerships are owned by somebody. And I think while Harley has the responsibility to make sure that they are supporting their dealers, you got to find the dealer and the service department. Or I do. I want to just talk for myself. You do what you think is right. I think that you got to find that place that you know and trust. And if you're not going to work on the bike yourself, take it there. Just my take, folks. As I try to make some sort of nice scenery vlog while riding behind a school bus, which probably is not very good. So thanks for uh, listening to me babble about service. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. Not just about Harley service or Honda service, but finding that place that uh, ultimately takes care of you, respects you, appreciates you, um, I think is the most important. And I appreciate you for checking out my channel. Thanks for looking in. And if you shoot some comments down about this, I'd be interested to see it as we all search for those folks that take care of us. Because in my opinion, people are still loyal. And if you treat them right, and you do the right thing, they'll keep coming back and tell others. That's it for Bodine 52. As I find a way to get around the school bus. Be safe on and off the motorcycle. And uh, thanks for stopping in and spending a little of your day with me. Bye-bye.